They call it a promising life cut short. A 22-year-old man dead tonight after it was gunned down in the Battle Creek. Now, his friends and family want to know who would kill this popular young athlete who they say was just months away from graduating from Western Michigan with honors. 24-Hour News 8's Barton Dieters has the developing story from Battle Creek for us tonight. Police are still trying to determine what exactly happened here that left Joseph Bowser dead here behind this apartment complex on the city's west side. Also seeking answers are those who say Joe Bowser was everybody's best friend. He was a good kid, man. He was, he was talented. Yeah, he was a great kid. Something, like I said, you wouldn't expect it to happen to him. Joe Bowser was an accomplished athlete in just about every sport you can name, soccer, track, football, and basketball. People were just saying that, you know, I was an outcast. I felt like an outcast, but Joe was there to, you know, make me feel, you know, welcomed. You know? His speed on the court in the gridiron gained him a nickname, the weapon. He played quarterback, but was also known as Central's fastest return man. He was also named homecoming king before his graduation from Battle Creek Central High School in 2014. I mean, he had a big smile, man. That's all he did was smile. Every time you seen him, he had a smile. He would go on to Western Michigan University, where he was close to graduating with honors with a degree in engineering, according to his cousin, who we talked to today. He also had the opportunity to play with a newly formed semi-pro football team, the Battle Creek Assassins, led by his friends and those who played with and against him. I mean, he impacted a lot of people in Battle Creek, and I mean, everywhere from 50 miles of Battle Creek. I'm but around 8 o'clock this morning, two residents here at the River Apartments on Stringham Road called police to say a body was found behind the building. One of the calls came from the mother of a young boy who discovered the body. Police say Bowser died of an apparent gunshot wound and are working to determine the time of death. A friend he was visiting there told police Bowser left the apartment around 11 p.m. Friday. There were reports of gunshots in the area, police say. A cousin said Bowser often visited family and friends in Battle Creek on the weekends. Police say they're not sure of a motive, but it appears this was not a random shooting. Our community is stronger than that. We don't need to let young kids keep killing each other. We don't need yeah. kids dying and no one speaking up. Police are asking anyone with information to call Battle Creek Police or sign on the observer. We have those links at woodtv.com. In Battle Creek, Barton Dieters, 24-Hour News 8.